Hello and welcome. Today we are taking a look at the new Pat McGrath Chroma Lux Artistry Pigments. So these pigments, you know, these are six new shades that are now available on Pat McGrath. It says they are exclusive to her site. I don't know how long that exclusivity will last, but we do have six shades. We have seen these Artistry Pigments before in the Star Wars collection. They sold out pretty quickly. I actually did purchase some back then, but I never got to use mine due to an order issue and then you know just long story so anyway right now you can purchase them from the Pat McGrath website you can see that there is a little plastic piece you want to keep that and I have already worn these for a full day plus you know today so that's how long I've uh, been testing these out they have a two-year shelf life and these uh, texturally they're kind of similar to the Victoria Beckham these are a little bit, I would say a little less crumbly than the Victoria Beckham ones. So we'll compare uh, some of those. This shade here is the Lilac Liaison. I mean, look at that. This is why I had to purchase it. I love lavender, lilac, purple. So uh, this is beautiful. So this is gonna be more of a light lavender with pink hues to it, but it's more purple than pink which is really great to see. And then we have Nude Euphoria. So they retail for 35 US dollars on the Pat McGrath website, but you can purchase them either like as an entire set, all six shades. You can purchase them as a duo, which I did here. Or, um, you know, they have some different like curated sets, like getting one of these with eyeliner and mascara, you know, that type of thing. So uh, these are the two that I picked up. Let's take a look at the eye swatches and talk about this. So these are a pressed pigment product. They have a two year shelf life. They are made in Italy and yet you get three grams of product here. And as I mentioned, they retail for 35 US dollars on the website. And there, are, you know, you can always check for codes and so forth. Right now, you know, since they just launched Chroma Lux 10, gives you 10% off. Now, according to the Pat McGrath website, these are a luminous pigment rich color. We have a shimmery metallic finish. It's a creamy texture. And again, I would say it's one of those dry, creamy textures. And it glides on seamlessly. It can be used for eyes and lips. I have not used it on the lips. Uh, I did pair it with the Lavendarian Gloss, uh, the lip gloss from Pat McGrath. I think those go very nicely. And you can use brush or fingertip. The brush application will give you, uh, you know, a softer finish. You, uh, you know, you won't get quite as much pigmentation from the brush, but it can be pretty close. So you can see that in the demo here. Now, according to the website, it says slay in sensuous shades that illuminate lids with dazzling color and a foiled metallic finish. Now starring solo in six seductive singles featuring legendary luminosity and powerhouse pigments. And I have to say, I do really like these. And as I mentioned, they are similar to the Victoria Beckham cream shadows, which are another product that I really like, but I have noticed with hers that the shades, you know, some of the shades are a little bit drier, more crumbly than others. It's not really so much the age, but it does tend to differ depending on the pigments used in those shadows. In comparison, based off of these two shades that I have from Pat McGrath, I would say that the Pat McGrath finish and formula is a little bit thinner. It's not quite as thick or heavy on the eye as the Victoria Beckham. And it is, you know, you still have that dry cream finish. It goes on very smoothly. Yes, you can see that it can be a little chunky or gritty when you pick up that pigment. That smooths right out. It's not actually like messy or anything like that. So, you know, I, I think it's a really nice product. I love the finish. I love the shades here and they last all day. So I wore them all day yesterday. No creasing. You know, I actually I'm pretty impressed. So I think these are a great product and I'm I'm personally really excited by these. So let's take a look at some of the Victoria Beckham shadows. So these are called Lid Lusters. And most of her shades, you know, we don't have anything like the lavender, of course. We do have some lighter, brighter shades, but we also have more dusky shades. This one here, again, we have the plastic top like this as well. This one is the shade Honey and really nice formula. I think they feel pretty similar texturally. This one here is actually one of the uh, thinner formulas 
from Victoria Beckham and you get five grams of product in the Victoria Beckham one versus the three grams in the Pat McGrath. I also want to show you this shade here. This is blonde. Now it looks white here, but there is a, it's actually gonna be like a white gold. We're gonna put this one right underneath. This one here though is a little bit thicker than honey. So this one actually, you know, I, they're all very, very similar uh, texturally, but yeah, I would say this one is just a little bit thicker than honey is. It could just be my particular batch as well. The reason I wanted to show this one though is I believe one of the shades in the Pat McGrath ones is gonna look very much like this. So I didn't pick up that one because they did look pretty close, but there is one that looks like it's gonna be like that white gold reflect. Now I did wanna share this just because this is my favorite of the Victoria Beckham ones and this is mink. And this one is definitely um, a little thicker. It's a very creamy formula, but it's thicker than the Pat McGrath or the other two from Victoria Beckham. But now that could also be because I've used this one a lot more than any of the others. <laughs> so, but I just wanted to share this because I just think it's such a beautiful shade. We have like chocolate brown with these like silver sparkles, which gives it more of a taupe appearance. You can really blend that out and it's a really gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shade. And then this is the last one I wanted to compare. So this is called Chiffon. This one I thought, you know, might be close to the new Euphoria. So we're gonna put this one right down here at the bottom. You can see that those are pretty close. So I would say that the Chiffon has a touch more rose in it, like a little bit more pink, whereas the Nude Euphoria has a little bit more peach, but they are very, very close. I personally would think that they are close enough, so if you have one, you don't need the other. Just a few other comparisons. This is the Mermaid Eye Color from Chantecaille. This is the shade Seashell. This is going to have a little bit more of a velvety texture. It's also a drier cream finish, but this one feels a little bit more velvet in texture versus having a little bit more of that grittiness from the Victoria Beckham and the uh, Pat McGrath. Now this shade here, this is probably the closest to the new Euphoria. This is seashell and we don't have quite as much of a metallic finish. It's not as strong, it's a little bit more subtle. And this has a little bit more, it's a little bit more golden actually. And then this is one of the Hourglass Scattered Lights. So I wanted to bring this one up because again, this is gonna be a thin uh, formula as well. We do have a drier cream finish. These are a little bit silkier and smoother in texture. Um, probably the silkiest out of all of these brands. This is a shade Vivid. You can see it's a really beautiful green, but uh, yeah, again, that's another beautiful finish. So I would say though, out of all of these different brands, the Victoria Beckham are most similar in formula and texture. And yeah, definitely color-wise, Chiffon is the closest to the new Euphoria. I don't have anything like the Lilac Liaison. But overall, I think these are all fantastic formulas. You can't go wrong with any of them, in my opinion. But if you've tried any of them and they do not work for you, you might wanna you know, second guess purchasing the Pat McGrath ones because in my experience, they all perform fair, fairly similarly on my eyes. Now, my skin is normal balanced skin, leans slightly dry, but that's been my experience with them. Now, before we go, I'm just gonna kind of blot off this lip gloss and let's try a little bit of the Lilac Liaison on the lips. All right, so I blotted the lips. There's no tacky texture to them anymore. And here's the Lilac Liaison. Let's go ahead and put that on. It adheres well. I have to say, I don't really feel it on my lips, even rubbing them together. You know, they feel a little different texturally, but there's no grittiness, there's no tackiness. Um, yeah, it's almost more like a creamy chalk texture, I would say, but this is it. So I think it's a little bit too much for me on the lips, but could definitely be awesome for certain occasions. So let me know what you think. 
I hope this quick look was helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and let me know which of the brands that I mentioned here as comparisons are your favorite. I'd love to hear your thoughts on those as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you very soon.